hello it's Nancy today and guess what oops guess what time it is it's making cookie time something happened to my cord here I have to put your thing on okay so let's see let's get you zoomed out and we'll make cookies but where or oh, where shall we do it? Well, we could work here on the stove. I mean the washing machine. So, first of all, we will need some butter. You can use oil. Let's use butter. Should we make a large batch or a small batch? Let's make a large batch. Should I make a large batch? Well, there's four boys here. You know, four boys. We're going to eat. One. I'm going to put a whole pound of butter in here. La -da -da. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
showing you that brown sugar is white sugar plus molasses. I showed you the experiment. You put the white sugar, you put the brown sugar in a cup and let it sit for a minute. You'll see that the water will turn brown and there's white sugar at the bottom. And that's not going to happen with raw sugar. But that's the way they make brown sugar. They make white sugar and then they add back some molasses. They add more molasses if it's going to be dark brown. Less molasses if it's going to be white brown. You don't need a fancy mixer to make cookies. You just need a spoon. 
Or you could use a stick. Or you could use the fire cooker. You could use your hands. Depends how desperate you are. Of course, if you were Mary Jane, well, you wouldn't have to use a poker from the fire. Washing machine sure making a lot of noise. Phew. This is in real time, folks. Let me see how much time it really takes to mix this butter by hand. Ooh, it's gonna taste so good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So much for eating less or eating healthy. <laughs> okay, so now then. I add one egg. You have to mix them first and then you add your eggs. So one egg. And yes, you're right. You are absolutely right. We are doubling it. Are they taking wood from my wood? You're not taking our wood, are you, baby? Good. We have to save our wood. Da -da 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 -da. So it's okay to go up with an egg to a higher amount because you have great big eggs and you have small eggs. It's harder to mix in an egg without a beater. But it can be done, as you shall soon see. Okay, and now i um, one egg and then a quarter cup of molasses. So that means I need three quarters of a, no, two, half a cup of molasses plus two thirds of a quarter. I still have butter lumps. Butter lump cookies. Butter lump, 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 Okay, so now we have to measure our molasses, but molasses is going to make a big mess in these cups, isn't it? Well, here's another of my little tricks. You use oil. You could use butter, but this is what you do. Now then, got to figure out where you are. So I need a quarter of a cup of molasses. Okay, so we'll splash the oil around in there. I'm going to pour it back because we don't need that. Okay, so here we go. There's one quarter cup of molasses. Now, see how it all comes right out? Look at that. That was one quarter. And then another quarter for the second batch, second time of the recipe. And then two thirds of a quarter for the third time of the recipe. It's more like three quarters, but you can never have too much molasses. Have you ever had molasses milk? You take some good old molasses and you mix it in milk. It's like chocolate milk or something, only it's really good. Yeah, chocolate milk is really good too. Okay, so that was your molasses and you see my thing is pretty clean. Just a drop for the a drop for the finger. butter bumps. Okay, and now we have two cups of flour is the original. We'll bring the flour over here. And we're going to need lots of spices and things. Okay, so we need this little tiny bag of flour. The price of flour has gone up so high and I don't usually make stuff with it that much anymore so to 
combat bug situation, I'm just getting a small bug. Okay. So we need two cups of flour for each recipe. So we need one cup. That's the dip level pour method. Pour. The dip level pour. Pour. That's the method one. Two. That's for one recipe. And then one. Two for the second recipe. And then we'll need two thirds. And we'll get two thirds. There we go. That's our two and two thirds. Uh, okay, and now we're going to need all these things. We're going to need baking soda and garam masala and cinnamon and ginger. And I think there's another one. Is it nutmeg? Shall return. Okay, now, so now, oh, I need a dash of salt. Salt in the molasses. You don't need salt. Uh, a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to use my teaspoon measuring thing because I'm a little. Okay, a teaspoon of. No, two teaspoons of soda. One. Make sure there's no little bumps in it. Now you want to spread this around in your flour. One. Two. One recipe and one so you don't need a sifter. Two. I'm sticking my fingers down to the bottom of the flour. Two and then Three quarters of two would be three quarters, I mean two thirds. This is three thirds, two thirds of two. I mean two thirds plus two thirds, so it's four thirds. So that's three thirds and then a third. Mixing the flour right now. Okay, and then you need a teaspoon of cinnamon. Oh, yes. You have you want a cable for an iPod? Yeah, I have a cable for my iPod. Yep. It's in my office room. One, two, and two thirds. La, la, la. It's white and it should be on the shelf um, above my hats at the foot of the bed. Okay, and one teaspoon of cloves. Cloves. We don't have cloves. That's why we're using my garam masala. But I love garam masala, so I'm going to put in a tablespoon. Because it's so good. Okay, and that's it. Wait a minute, what about ginger? It doesn't say ginger. Well, you have to add tons of ginger. 
get a tablespoon of ginger too. How could I have not copied that onto my recipe? Unbelievable. Overlooking such important things. I'm gonna sneeze. You don't see it? Okay, well, when I get these mixed up, I'll help you. That was Ava Jam, my boy. My last boy at home. He's 17. His friends watch my videos. Then they tell him about it. And then he tells me not to video him. I don't like it when you video me. I don't want all my friends seeing everything. What? You found it. Oh, that was easy. Go push my button. You may need a stronger spoon. You don't want to break your spoon off when you're doing this. Ta 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 Now this is one of the easiest things you can do is learn how to make cookies. You'll never go hungry again. You will never. You'll always be assured of getting enough calories in your diet. Did you like the way I multiplied the recipe? Ha! That was so smart. There was a big chunk of butter. A butter butt. A butter Bit. What did I call them? Butter somethings. Got to make sure I mixed in all of that baking soda thoroughly. Don't want to get a, a mouthful of baking soda. Okay, right, there we go. Now we are ready for part two. We will take them and put them on the tray. Grease it? I don't know. I could put a little oil on it. I could use my environmentally unfriendly paper towels. Then, I think it needs a little more um, flour because they're a little too gooey. Oh yes, that's right, because I added three full eggs. I only made two and two thirds the recipe. So these will just be a little, they'll just spread a little more. So this is cooking outside the box. Box free. Okay, and now into the preheated 350 degree oven. Now you need some pot, some cat food, don't you? Mm. That is so good. It's so much better than any meal I could make. 